Welcome back to the new Music Alliance Radio Hour. I am Mistress Miriam. I am here with Camille and with Mark Sherry. And you just heard Michael Gregory Jackson with Ballad. Before that, the Afro-Semitic experience, Sente. He's an on-time god. And then we started it with Desron Douglas, Adelia. And this, you know, this block is kind of jazz infused with other types of styles. We could we can start with Desron Douglas, Hartford, Connecticut. He's a bassist. Band leader, composer. That's a really solid tune. I love the uh, the the quality of the bass in the in the recording. It was, you know, super tactile. You could really hear it in there. It is as somebody who's worked a lot with people who play upright, I like that you said that it's tactile. It's musical, it's percussive. There's so many qualities that the upright bass has and I do think that this track captures it and if you listen to his other tracks and his other projects you get that as well and he experiments with it the New York Times wrote about him learned as he may be this is living language music jazz is its practice more than it's studied and and I truly believe that as an artist it's 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 discovery as opposed to invention. That to me is is art. So um, after that tune, we had a tune by, um, actually t- the next two tunes were by artists that are both in the Essential Western New England Songbook, which is our anthology that we put together of the best songs ever written by artists from Western New England and the Afro-Semitic experience. Um, we listened to a song by them called Sente. He's an on-time god. And they have a song called Descargo Ocho Candelicas, which is in the songbook. But Sente, he's an on-time god. That is a very cool tune. It's got a kind of a New Orleans jazz feel to it. There's very much the take it quality to it. The, you know, the different instruments come in and take over. You have the guitar and you have the piano and you, the guitar is not something you would normally hear. Well, in a typical jazz genre as taking it, but Mm -hmm. it's here. Yeah. The beginning of this song for me was super evocative. I love the, the bongos and the way that it's sort of, there's like a little yell in the background and then it, it slides into sort of a more up-tempo, uh, uh, recording, but it it reminded me a lot of um, a really old record that my dad used to play when I was a kid that he had brought with him from uh, my dad's from Egypt, uh, and he brought it. He brought this uh, African drums record from Egypt, and that it, there was a little bit of that in the beginning of this track that really drew me in. Yeah, this this band is very cool because, as the name goes, Afro Semitic Experience. It was actually founded by. Um, Two musicians, one who was a um, Jewish American um, bass player, David Chavon, and um, an African American, Warren Bird, who was a jazz pianist. And the two of them, but also from Amherst, Mass, and the New Haven, Connecticut area, blended this, this group together with the whole idea of a message of bringing unity to the community. And uh, there's just so many genres in their music. It's it's quite a project. That's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. And we actually know another person in the band, um, Jocelyn Pleasant, um, who is, has her own group called The Lost Tribe, which uh, we've played quite a bit um, as well and has been part of the Valley Music Showcase. She's the um, drums in the band. And then after that, we had Ballad by Michael Gregory Jackson, who is a real giant in the music industry um, and spent a few years in the Northampton and Amherst area in the early 80s. And uh, um, he wrote a song, um, Can't Carry You, which is in the Essential Western New England songbook. And Ballad is another beautiful tune by him. This was such a melancholy track. I love this sort of intimate recording quality. Uh, you can hear these little creaks in the room and the breaths between, you know, the instrumental parts. Um, and it just, it really brought the performance to life in a in a really fantastic way. Very unique 
some of his music is is so unique. I mean, it's something that, like you were saying, there's like an intimacy. You 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 listen to it at home and you you take it in. Um, he's he's an extraordinary talent. Yeah, tried so many different. Um, yeah, range. So he has so many genres that he's uh, explored. It's pretty amazing, and and he does all of them well. <laughs> so yeah, he's one of those people. Yeah. So what do we got next in our next block? Okay. We are going to start the next block with Cinder Talk, Run With the Horses. 